Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Oh, hang on. Uh, beep boop. Happy Wednesday. Oh, hang on. Uh, okay. Beep boop. I heard me. We're good to go. Okay. So, it is early. <laughs> well, it's actually, oh, I'm supposed to be on time. This is my on time. <laughs> but, um, I have to leave at some point in time today. I'm, I'm spending time with my dad. So, um, I wanted to get a little bit of streaming out of the way. That way, we get a little further in our plans. Because uh, it's already the 25th. Oh my god, October went by so fast. But like I said, I, I always have a really busy October. Um, with my birthday and the rest of my family's birthdays. Like, it, it's just a big thing. Just October's always really busy. Um, it always really, like, it sets the tone for, like, going into November for me and December. Because those are always busy months anyway. So October's, like, busy, kind of fun busy. And then November and December are, like, busy because... You're working busy. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, that out of the way, I don't really have any news. Uh, the only day that I. What are we listening to? Is this Penball? Yeah, it is Penball. Okay. Chill out, Penball. You're distracting me. <laughs> All right. And now my train of thought just completely... It's gone. I don't remember what we're talking about. Oh, right. Um, today's the only day that's going to be odd for me. Uh, so the rest of this week, I'll have a normal schedule. I'll try to log in a little early just so that we can get through some more stuff. Um, since I'm not working on anything else other than catch up on my chores from everything that's been going on. But anyway, that out of the way. Let's get on getting on. I want him a glasses hanger. Alright, I have my glasses. I need to get Twitch back up. Hold on. Alright, I got Twitch pulled up. We're good to go. Oh, wait. No, we're not. I remember having to change OBS. Hold on. Stupid OBS. we go perfect all right I'm, I'm i'm excited i hope like i'm enjoying the game i'm enjoying the characters and their story and like the things that they're grow going through and how they're growing but i really hope that this has some kind of spooky ish payoff so i mean we already found a missing arm and somebody got animal napped i guess but um yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that this gets super spooky at some point in time. No, not options. Get the options. Continue. Oh, I forgot to grab a drink. Oh my god, I don't remember what we were doing. Why are we here? So, I remember I took her... To the graveyard, she saw her mom, and we saw a ghost. And then I took Angus to the one place, and we saw the person staring at us from behind the tree, and that was super spooky. I don't remember why we're here. I remember meeting in Angus and um, Greg's house. And them all agreeing to do something with me. But I don't remember what that thing was. Anyway. Oh, okay. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? 
Owls are cool. <laughs> All right. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. I have a party. Look at my party. They're so cute. Man, Angus doesn't even sway his arms. They're just like bobbling up and down behind him. How have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing. I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Aw, cute. Maybe it's not an onk on her neck. Maybe it is a cross. No, I'm pretty sure that's an onk. Wow. <laughs> Gotta pull all this stuff somewhere, I guess. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in- wait, how did- how did they even get all of this back up in here? Shudder, okay. What's up? Nothing. Just like, all this old, old stuff out here, it's here every night, when you go to sleep. So? It's out here in the dark, so old. So old, so old, so old. What is her problem? Dude, hey, May! I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo! Fun! God. No! No! Ah, hell. He's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No! No! Guys! Ah, hell. Guys! Guys! Wait! Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew at the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owed up to it! Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack! Because of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his leg's stuck. And it wasn't like you coulda- wait. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd have called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, 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 I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Aw, hell. D Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. Alright, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know, we got no choice. 
and I'd appreciate it if you stopped lying a guilt trip on us. No! No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! Ah! Hold still. This'll go easier if... Ah! Alright, he's free. Lerv. Ah! Lerv. Ain't no one can hear you out this far. Wait, ain't no one can hear you this far out. Oh, dyslexia. <laughs> You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... Ah! 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 <laughs> All hell, let's get this over with. Wish she'd just make this easy, Lerv. Oh god, his bone's sticking out. Gasp! No! You No! The hell? Shit. May? May Porosky? Run. Uh oh, they know who I am! Run, May, run! Cult of Snow! Do I- I don't need to jump, I don't think. But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh my god, they're gaining on me! May, run, May! Ouch. Part four, at the end of everything. Oh shit. Um. Nice. Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like go over the plots of books I've read. <laughs> Ooh, look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Oh my god, Greg, wow. Alright, well. Why am I her? So no word from her parents? Nope. That's bad, right? Yup. Yup. Thanks, guys. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around. <laughs> That's the spirit. What happened to May? This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. We're going to see the blank tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. He'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. A uh, big guy? Dirty coat? Or several? They could swap out. I can't tell. Oh, there's Angus. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And, yeah? Maybe lasagna? Lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? Need to eat! Everyone needs to eat! Aren't you, like, scared and worried? <laughs> Honey, this is him being scared and worried. He has to feed everyone. Yep, cute. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Aw, no more than anyone else. Guys? Where's May? Getting dark earlier.
I am so tired. I could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. I love these beds. I think they're super cute. I don't know about for like a couple, <laughs> like two people climbing up there every day to sleep, but you know, like a teenager or something. So that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump? Yep. Were those guys like that guy? Yep, sorta. He had a hat. Hmm. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? Oh my god, Angus. I think you do cook it frozen. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Guess him. Wait, everybody shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. What happened? Oh my god, May, are you okay? Oh wait, I know where we are. Now I don't know where we are. Where are the houses? She can't jump. God is here in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. I'll sniff. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. I've always known May as the kid down the street, a little younger than me, but tough. I've been through. I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Wow, Selma's been through divorce? Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace, and I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were in the woods at night down at the end of the center avenue and someone was out there hunting illegally 
and they got shot at, and May fell, and she must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh. Well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is one of the people! That's one of the people in the, the, the hood! I'm sure she... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, it's supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so she's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. <laughs> Is that God? The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. So wait, are we in the hospital now? Okay then. Ugh. I wonder how long she was out for. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Oh my god. B? Oh my god, May. Okay, so this is the convergence of this story. Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! Oh my god, Craig! <laughs> I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. She just left her home? Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky, lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out here. Out there, sorry. I sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Both of you, shh. So how well do you know this guy? We ordered pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. <laughs> All right, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. <laughs> so what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like, in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. 
Nice! Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there. B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. I love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. <laughs> Poor May. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like, puke my actual guts out. <laughs> oh right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this? I don't know if we're if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> what even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Gnar 3? Well, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. <laughs> I hope Germ is not one of the people. Because he wasn't with us. They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like... Wait, it's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Don't push yourself. Okay. I guess it's just to talk to people and then go to bed? Go to sleep. <laughs> Just Greg's slow eye roll while he watches her walk back to the kitchen. <clears throat> Bonk. Okay. Nothing left for me here. Onward to bed. Tuck me in, B. Can we all hit the sack? Cool, I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, germ. Cute. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought I'd be weird, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... 
I was playing this video game. You were like dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it like 24 7 until this one afternoon, and suddenly, like, something broke. Broke. It was just like pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed, they never had feelings, they never would exist either. And it felt so sad, like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. And like, that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside, and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow. That's... Huh. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes... Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda, sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder of something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me, and I was so scared, I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat, or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally, I got up the courage to leave, and I came home where everything was fine. Oh my god, she's trauma dumping. This is what everybody's been asking her this whole game, why she left. And now it's really, really huge. Oh, it's Jacob. Jeez, I came in at a weird time. Ha 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 ha. There have been some weird moments in this game. Phil came in when we were talking about uh, watching porn, and that was pretty fun. Not us, but like, in game. You know what I mean. Very psychological game, apparently. Whew. Where everything was fine, where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else? <laughs> like, there are such things as depression and anxiety. And like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I thought when I came home, hold on, ads trying to play, I'm going to let, I'm going to snooze it until we're done with their conversation, okay? I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days and then all this and, 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 shh, it's going to be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared, but we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I. <laughs> Alligator snore. Poor May. Get some sleep, May. Bye, guys. Love you. <gasps> 
The hole in the center of everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're about to start a new... No, don't hold the save and quit tab, maybe? How do I bring up the journal? Anyway, since we're starting a new like little mini chapter, I'm going to go ahead and let Ad play so it doesn't bother us during this. And I'll be right back. So, Ad time! Ad time! I'm back! Oh yeah, Yoshi! I'm going to vote for Kirby. We won't be here. Neato! Okay. So, also, if you didn't know, the radio that I use, the OC Remix, the Rain Wave, uh, you can, if you go to their site and you're listening to it, you can vote on, like, the next song. You trying to stay with me? Here, come here. Hurry up. Hi, buddy. Hmm. So, if you guys are invested and interested, you guys can pull that up, too, and, uh, Vote with us, so that way, if you're stuck listening to it in my AFK screen, you can at least have some say as to what the game is that we're, that they're, what music they're playing, I guess. <sighs> okay. So she just abandoned her friends, and she's going back into the woods where we saw the cultists break someone's leg off and they were gonna kill him. Oh, it's the spooky! What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine. Let's do this. Yo, what the what? Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ah, you shot me! And we can use... Wait, and we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, cheese, B. Ah, ah, you okay? What are... You are such an idiot. What were you thinking? Coming out here alone? This is all because of me. Uh, I'm sorry, are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around and kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He, it, it's, it's in my dreams. Hey, kiddo, we're out here, outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you, but I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods to die. Okay. We're all in this now, and even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure am not dying out here. And you're, God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone, so you're not dying either. Cough. Aww. That sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk, May? Uh, I think so. I might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's do something really stupid. Yay! <laughs> 
You said, uh, uh, Jacob says, I just end up listening to lo-fi hip-hop while I do art. Awesome. Is, do you have a specific lo-fi that you like? I like lo-fi girl. I use her a lot. I like the lo-fi Halloween girl. That one's pretty cute. I tend to put on, like, cartoons in the background while I'm doing art. Like, I like adventure. That's one of my go-to is adventure time. Uh, I like regular show. Futurama. Just shit I've seen, like, a billion times before that I don't have to watch, but I can, like, look up and giggle at dumb shit sometimes. Oh, I also love to watch, like... Like, I went through a whole thing about the alien documentaries. I watched, like, all of the alien documentaries while I was doing my art. Because I, I don't have to watch that, really. I can draw and just listen. And, like, look up every once in a while and be like, Oh, my God. Go back to, you know... You know what I mean? <laughs> Miyazaki. Okay. Okay. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Oh, dang. You're right. No. Hold on. I have to go down in there. Well, then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy? Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. I'm scared of the mines. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Cute. That's what they said earlier to each other when they were going to a party. Jacob says, like, if I'm doing something moody, I'll be in the Dark Souls soundtrack. Oh, heck yeah. Dark Souls soundtrack's awesome. Elden Ring 2. Sometimes I put on the Terraria soundtrack just because it's banging. Okay, sorry. That's my dad. That's my dad! I love that Greg has a crossbow. Mm, excuse me. I'm just gonna ignore that very obvious lever. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yame, yeah, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then. We'll come out of this together. <laughs> Oof, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years? Generations, even? Are you our tour guide now? Oh, wait, don't forget that these things explode. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. <laughs> this is in the brochure? I wanted the Bloodborne one, but someone snatched it at Lost Ark. Oh, okay. I haven't been there in forever, man. I used to, like, every time I would go, for a long time, they had these little Monster Hunter figures. They were little, like, prize boxes or whatever. And they were super cute. And then when I finally had money to go get them, like, they, were, they didn't have any. And I would always ask him, and he'd be like, oh, I'm gonna restock. I'm gonna restock. And he never, ever, 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 ever did. And I'm sure it was just that he couldn't get his hands on them. Because they became, like, rare a little after that. But, I don't know. I missed out, I guess. Well, here we are. Cough, cough. May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy, but thanks. Shh! I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. 
Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> oh, they expanded! They bought the other side of the store. Heck yeah! Now I know I need to go check it out. They have all kinds of cool stuff just to look at. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> if you like boba, moshi moshi up the street is amazing. Cute. Moshi moshi. Moshi moshi! <laughs> Aw, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like junk? Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. There's a freaking pentagram back there. Did you see it? I saw it as we were walking away. I love that we just see bees lit cigarette. Oh. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself! Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. Oh! There's a whole bunch of them. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Edie, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl shot at the other- Wait, little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay? <laughs> it didn't actually hit me, so- Wait, what the- Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's going to kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors! Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's going to have be having much say in whatever. Wait. So you think that Edie... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's, he's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired. Constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've I've felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it, twenty years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Birtle. Vest Skumacher, last supervisor, was out there when they completely locked off the entrance carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one, not even a proper mine, big hole, copper, abandoned, shoot long before any of us were born, too close to water, and that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we were standing, but that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try... 
tried bootlegging, practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper, till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl, in dreams and in waking times. Sh what brought you down here? So what does this have to do with you, or me, or anyone? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving, government didn't care, only wanted our votes, just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers? Ed explained it to the few folk, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Once he takes a shining to you, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it, but they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay? After Ed talked us into all of this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, who believed you, me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole, he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry, like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number bro one of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. Well, I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been Oh god. Oh no. Casey, the Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey. Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin. Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and his whole town a favor. Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend! Alright now, throw it down now or I will shoot. What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods. At night, basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this... Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puff and smoke. 
You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought the house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. I'm gonna die down here. May. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old, and even with the French benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry out, wait, to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this. Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. Snort! Haha, <laughs> it does! This is real bad. This is insane! Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happened. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death and soon we'll all be dead and this town will be just fields and trees I've seen it I know you have I'll understand if you need some time to think it over so we can leave no one's gonna stop you but understand that you don't know who we are out there but we know who you all are Ain't fair they get to leave, and I've probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Edie. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Edie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> uh... I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just horror? It's not a word you get to use too often. It's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh, talk later. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a second, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? Uh, I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like... They lost what they thought was going to happen, which is what had happened like a long time ago, or how they remember or like picture it, and things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest, and sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Yeah, kick him in the face! Kick him, May! an arm! Oh my god! We ripped off his arm! Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May? May, are you okay? 
May, say something. <laughs> May? <laughs> Sniff. Sob. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus? Yeah? I love you. Aww! Welcome back, May. <laughs> you okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. Cough. That was like the third time in two days? Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Grab it. Yeah, we did it together. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. Sniff, sniff, and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river? We're in a mine. Right. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one... Hold on. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. Is this the poison river, though? Why is nobody coming with her? Oh my god, May, what the fuck? I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blow it off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long. Hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. <laughs> You know, I can't understand you, right? <laughs> oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May? Dude, are you okay? W whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a second. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? 
I bet he did. It just doesn't back in the water. There's no hole for me. No hole. Just another weird psychological. It looked alien this time. What is it? What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure? <laughs> Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! <laughs> Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. Uh, I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins. No, like when your body is like, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. <laughs> okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. <laughs> there, thank you. Those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. I love you, friends. Please don't die in this weird, gross well. Bump, 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 bump. this place, huh? Hey, May. Germ! Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May! Yeah? Was that Germ? <laughs> yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? Wheeze. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What the? What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. <laughs> okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of, like, a dozen guys. No, 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 no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers! Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> uh, what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm, it's 
like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. <sighs> it's 2.30, 2.30. Hey guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all of this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropping into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you, wait, all of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. LOL. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. That's so cute. Oh my god. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. <laughs> and I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just going to erase all that. Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. <laughs> okay, so there was an old cult of people throwing individuals into a hole to feed who knows what. Oh, the shapes. Poor May. Thought An Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. I don't know that I saw that one. <laughs> I got messages from everybody. All right. Um, I have only a couple of minutes before ads gonna play, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let it play. I have to run to the restroom anyway, and hopefully we're. I, I thought we were gonna wrap this up soon, but I guess not. <laughs> uh, I mean, we killed a man, or at least pulled his arm off. And these are people that are in the town, so we're probably about to see who's missing. And I'm really, really, really hoping. That it's not going to be one of May's parents or more than likely B's dad. So I'm really worried it's going to be B's dad only because he's like that and she's already heard the spiel from him and then she's going to be all alone and she killed him. Anyway, I'll be right back. Food for thought.
All right. Hang on. Boop. Mm. Sorry. Gross. All right. I'm going to go from bottom up because I'm worried her message is going to say something about my dad didn't come home last night or some crap. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Lol. <laughs> Band practice today because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the snack. Falcon. Snacklin. Snalkin. <laughs> Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, sincerely, Gregory. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Okay. Band practice. Oh, no. Epilogue. Does that mean that we are done? Stars. God, it's us. Just us. Home and us. <laughs> I don't know what this feeling is. But I'm not gonna cry today. Crawl space is still blocked. Hey, granddad's clock. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Hey, sweetie. Well, if my mom's here, that means she's not one of the weird cultists. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... Uh, you're an adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip pancakes in the air. Haha, <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest... I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow! Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall? Always does, hun. Okay, well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mom. Okay, well, if... Dad is also here... Okay. Hey, Dad. No work today. I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff, but this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to, to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here... Listen, I'm gonna be around for dinner tonight. 
Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we could make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some stuff. Okay. Is that a piece of snow? Maybe we can talk about your stuff too. Just one big uh, stuff session. <laughs> that sounds great, kitten. Love you, Dad. Love you too. Be back later. I wanted it to tell me if people are missing. Like that old man that hates me. Or the goat. Cute. Cute. I love the snowflakes. I love that they're all different. Wonder if we'll ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were like deluded. That'd be really nice. If there was a god, I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled to this place nearly to death. I'm like proud of us all for having good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. <laughs> Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Cute. I was hoping to finish this today, but time is uh, getting away from us very fast. I'm gonna have to go soon. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night's plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. <laughs> Dad. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question? You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine. I will. May? Spit it out already! Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez. Until now, I never considered that. May. Okay, fine. Thanks. Bye. Hey, May. What's up, Silmers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing. Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. Got some migraine meds if you need it. No, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. <laughs> it's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. <laughs> Anytime, neighbor. Cute. That doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding all up and down this goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. <laughs> it's a bad idea. That's not an. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? <laughs> okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important and the most thought out. What the? We gonna do another water balloon toss? Nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. Oh my god, guys. 
I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Colleen. Too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private pl plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the state, with county and state. Colleen's right on this one, too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. Alright, well, now that's settled. What are we gonna do about the road? Wow. Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. <laughs> Move out, troops. Okay, well, I'm glad to see they're all still there. This guy's still here. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. <laughs> Angry squirrel. Regrant. This guy's still here. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel's not the the tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure that works. Please go away. Okay. Oh hello. Hey, it's May! I remember. Old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. What did you want to tell me about Grandad? Well, only say if you really want to know. Uh, yes, I do want to know. You got a history of troublemakers in your family. You're on your daddy's side in particular. Go back far enough, you got folks that were around for real hard times when the workers went up against armies. Oh yeah, I remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa or whatever. Might have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before even our time. No, we were around to watch the tide roll out. And? We'll need to talk again at another time. I get tired. Oh, okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. No, I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay, see you, old lady. They hung out with my granddad. I don't care about these teenagers. <laughs> Taco Buck. Now hiring. Taco artisans, delivery drivers, all shifts. Eight dollars per hour. So you're a taco dude now. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artesian, but I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. That's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky falling. <laughs> How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. So it pays. Taco book. Wow. A very own taco place. This is the best thing that's happened in this town since... They got rid of all those snakes in the diner? We got internet. Oh. We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago because it's eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to torrent a movie. Oh jeez, takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times, God. Life moves on, huh? Wow. Oh my God, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks that way. I've, uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break, and I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out, and let the gust of wind pass over me. Chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah, it's cold. Maybe too cold. 
Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. But then you can go and get a coffee or hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here till you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. I'm gonna put my arms down now. It's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. Angus is not here today. His friend is missing. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. A bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you Smelters fan? Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Got. Go, Smelters. Go smelters! Go smelters! Okay. So they killed that one guy because he accidentally left the arm outside of Click Clack. But I don't know why they had an arm to begin with. The carpenter. Hey, it's you. Yup, yup. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix its whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So, what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember him? No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel every bit as old as these as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken. Wait, and I feel like I should have woken up today, and like have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what came of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelters game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Haha. <laughs> Wheeze ha ha ha. How did he know my name? Yeah, wait, how do you know my name? Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Cute. So I'm gonna split part time. How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have the hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night we're all off. I'm off Tuesday. I'm off Sundays. Thursday is my only night off. Okay then. We can all put in requests. Alright, I'm gonna go hit up the church. And then I'm gonna go initiate the start of band practice, I think. And that's probably where I'm gonna end it for the day. Unfortunately. I gotta go get ready for my dad. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. I'm 
glad the pastor's still here. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. So, Bruce is gone? Yeah. Sure wish I knew where he got to. Does he have a home somewhere? No. I don't know. Not really. Oh. You need some help cleaning this place up. That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. There's the arrows that Greg's cousin was shooting. Mom's not here today. business day oh. it says yes we're open but I know that she didn't open it <laughs> it's not open it's closed alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. It just seems like relevant. <laughs> well look who's alive and look who's alive and well too. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You wanna get the hell out wait, you want to get out of here. Do band practice. Yep. Yup yup. Yup yup. Band practice. God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get... So did you all get keys to the back door? Greg got one, and we made copies. How did he even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. A little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just play need each other. Craig more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. <laughs> That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise, because Angus is an extremely nice person. Craig's a nice person. Oh yeah, he definitely is, but he's also bratty and irresponsible, and has like zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend, and he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sick- wait, si oh. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets, who carry knives. I mean, if I met those- if I met the right guy with those... I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you've thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out 
out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. Had a dream. The world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yup. So like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads, or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist. Or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Yup. I don't know, I kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out. And there's a hole, wait, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes. Yes, it is. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all of this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there, right out of sight, following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce, I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. Ugh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngins and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in the same old mansion, killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. <laughs> yeah, naps fix everything. Um, unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be able to keep going with their conversation. I was trying to like get to a stopping point, but I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm running out of time to be able to get ready for my dad. So I'm going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully when we can finish this up tomorrow and keep on keeping on. But I'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everybody.